to the world. Be born again, you'll produce many seeds. Hebrews 5, 11 through 12, warning against falling away. We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear because you no longer try to understand. I think of uh, husbands and wives, how the wife or the husband only hears certain things the husband says, or vice versa. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's that way with other things too, with church. You can, you can hear just what you want to hear. In fact, verse 12, in fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's Word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. So what that means is that you've been in church a long time and you haven't learned. You're still drinking from the bottle. If you're, uh, what, I, what I think of here is, uh, you know, like I have grandchildren and how the, they're really cute when they do stupid things. Now, if you're 20 years old and you do the same thing, you're not very cute anymore. <laughs> so it's time to move on. <laughs> Conclusions. This message is for everyone, including me. Anyone who says I am perfect is a liar. We must daily start anew. We are not perfect and require a repentant heart. Every day I wake up in prayer. I wake up with a song in my heart. If you're waking up and the first thing you think about is Facebook or you think about who you can tell a rumor about or whatever else, then uh, your life's going to be that way. You know? You're never going to progress. If God is not the first thing you think about when you wake up, then reevaluate what you are doing. This also could be when you go to bed at night, what is the last thing you do also? So that's going to affect what you see when you first wake up. Pray without ceasing does not mean you have to kneel 24-7. We talk with God through prayer. God will guide us if He sees true commitment. This is my little chalkboard, God's man. We have worship plus fellowship. Remember, fellowship we defined as the meeting together of people with similar interests. Prayer time plus devotions which is reading your Bible, your faith equals deliverance, joy, sentence of well-being, accomplishment, and eventually heaven, Oops. and much more. I close with one last slide and song. This message was given, this last message was given to me at our prayer time at Church on the Hill in Eagle Point. Please read this while listening to the song and join the leadership if you leadership of the church at the front if, in prayer if you agree. So the leadership can come forward if they want. And you can join us after you've meditated on this for a little bit.
said, Choose this day whom you will serve. Either you will serve the God of your forefathers, or you will serve our God. But choose this day. There is no longer wavering between two gods. struggles in our life is because we're choosing one day to be on one side and the next day to be on the other side. I love the saying that my wife says, she says the most miserable person in the world is the person that's sitting on the fence. Jesus said it specifically, he said when he says he comes back, he says, I will choose a bride without spot or blemish. Jesus also stated the fact that uh, I choose either, I, I prefer that you be hot or cold, but because you're lukewarm, I'll spew you out of my mouth. 